Thanks for joining us today. This is the Growlink Central Dosing System. This thing is amazing because it can take the place of all of your batch tanks, save you a ton of real estate, and then dose all of your recipes in a single unit. So sometimes you'll see like dose and tron panels, you might want like four panels because you've got four different recipes. This, you can get all of your recipes into a single panel, uh, which is great. In fact, in this grow, I think they've got 10 different recipes that they can feed on the fly, on demand. Conceivably, you could have a different recipe for each strain, for each week of flour, uh, depending on where you needed to send it. So I'll show you how it works. All right, so these are the uh, Editron injectors. Uh, we use diaphragm pumps that pull the nutrients up from the stock tanks and then inject them directly into the line. But the magic is the fact that we're constantly measuring the flow and then we're constantly measuring the output with our TDS and pH probes, which is sending information back to the Growlink panel. Let's take a look. Here's the TDS and pH probes, and along with the signal from that flow meter, they're coming back to the Growlink 1 controller, which is the heart and soul of our nutrient fertigation panel, as well as a lot of our climate control solutions. We've got an expansion card on here that's reading the, uh, the probes, uh, the TDS and the pH, um, and then we've got our proprietary pump drivers, which uh, use 4 to 20 milliamp signal to pulse these pumps. As you can see, based on the amount of nutrients that we're injecting, we've got two sets of pump drivers. So the way that it works, it's a constant feedback loop. Uh, the room will call back to the system asking for a specific recipe to go to a zone, and we will, the controller will open up the manifold that goes to that room, um, and then start injecting the nutrients per the recipe. So maybe we're on J1, week three of flour. It'll start dosing that recipe and then monitoring the feedback from the PPM uh, or EC if you like, and the pH. So a valve opens up, your flow increases, you need to dose more. Your pH starts to drift, you need to activate the pH pump. Uh, and that's all controlled from these pump drivers, which are constantly sending four to 20 milliamp signals to these dosing pumps in real time, responding to real changes as they occur. The magic of the system is that now it's done feeding the week three flour for room one. If they need to go right into week two flour, it can do that like that. Uh, the first solenoid will close, the second solenoid will open, the program will switch over to week four flour recipe as an example, and then start dosing that directly uh, to those plants. So it all can happen quickly, it all is very dynamic, and responds to changes in the recipes as you come up with them. Uh, conceivably, I could sit down tonight on my laptop and write 10 more recipes if I wanted to deliver to, to various zones within the building, all from this main doser. So right now we're do actually dosing the week six recipe. Um, I don't know if you caught it, but the, the frequency of the pumps just dropped down a little bit. That can be an indicator of the PPMs getting up to their target set point or the flow decreasing because both of those uh, play in a conjunction. You can hear them ramping up a little bit now. So it's constantly trying to hit that exact pH and the exact PPM. Uh, for the recipe. That's health, healthy, happy plants need a very consistent recipe to be delivered. Um, so don't be, uh, don't be intimidated by the complex looking setup of it. It's designed to be lean, simple, save a lot of real estate uh, within your grow, uh, but we will come out and help with the installation. So we'll walk you through, uh, once you get all of your equipment, we'll walk you through setup. We'll provide uh, wiring diagrams, plumbing diagrams, get on however many conference calls uh, you and your plumbers need with us. Um, and then when we come out on site, uh, we'll hook up all the low voltage, wire the pumps back to the board, uh, and then run it through its paces. So we're gonna make sure, we'll stay up all night with you. In fact, here we did stay up all night, uh, making sure that we were hitting the right pH, the right PPMs, and that all of the pumps were functioning properly. And what the plant was seeing is what we were telling the plant that it was gonna get.